Howard Gardner's influential theory of multiple intelligences has almost revolutionized the way many educators think of intelligence. For almost a century, intelligent testers have seen it as a fixed trait. IQ tests demonstrated whether you were smart, normal, or deficient. Gardner, on the other hand, argued that intelligent is multifaceted and dynamic, expanding far beyond the linguistic and logical capacities tra traditionally tested and valued in schools. Gardner identifies eight intelligences, all of which he considers part of our birthright. He can argues that no two people have exactly the same intelligences in the same combination. The eight intelligences are 1. Linguistic intelligence, or word smart. 2. Logical or mathematical intelligence, also known as number smart. Spatial visual intelligence, picture smart. Bodily kinesthetic, or body smart. Musical intelligence, or music smart. Interpersonal intelligence, people smart, interpersonal intelligence, self smart, and naturalistic intelligence, or nature smart. I will be discussing the naturalistic intelligence. A definition of being nature smart is the human ability to discriminate amongst living things such as plants and animals, as well as a sensitivity to other features of the natural world, such as clouds and rock configurations. This ability was clearly of value in our evolutionary past as hunters, gatherers, and farmers. It continues to be central in roles such as scientists, botanists, chefs, city planning, and other vocations. Natural intelligences can also be mobilized in the discrimination amongst cars, fuel efficiency and emissions, sneakers, clothing, and makeup that use natural products in their creation. Naturalistic intelligence deals with sensing patterns in and making connections to elements in nature. Using the same intelligence, nature smart people may be very interested in other species, the environment, or the earth. Children possessing this type of intelligence may have a strong affinity to the outside world or to animals, and this interest often begins at an early age. Nature smart people are keenly aware of their surroundings and changes in their environments even at minute levels due to their highly developed levels of sensory perception. Their heightened senses help them notice similarities, differences, or changes in their surroundings more rapidly than others. People with naturalistic intelligence may be able to categorize or catalog things easily and often collect or classify things from nature such as rocks, fossils, butterflies, feathers, shells, and the like. As a teacher, you can reach your nature smart students by incorporating some of the following activities into your curriculum. Categorizing species of plants and animals. Developing an outdoor classroom. Collecting objects from nature making celestial observations, using scientific equipment such as telescopes, binoculars, microscopes, or magnifiers for observing nature, initiating projects on the food chain, water cycle, life cycle of a butterfly, or environmental issues, predicting problems in nature related to human habitation. Joining an environmental wildlife protection group, finding, reporting, researching local and global environmental concerns, building and labeling collections of natural objects from a variety of sources, creating observation notebooks, charting the growth of a plant or an animal over time, charting and investigating the evolution of species and making predictions for future populations, just to name a few. Technology that could be used to assist in teaching to the naturalist intelligence include the ELMO document reader that connects directly to a microscope and projects the images seen through the microscope onto a large screen. By being able to see what's under the microscope altogether as a class, this type of technology has revolutionized classroom science discussions. Other computer programs and applications such as Google Earth allow you to zoom in and out of areas on our planet and visualize our world from a different perspective. Famous people who represented naturalistic intelligence include Galileo, John Audubon, Lewis and Clark, Jacques Cousteau, Diana Fossey, John Muir, Sacagawea, and Albert Einstein. Right, teaching nature smart children might include shows or stories that deal with animals or natural phenomenon, and they might find interesting careers in the areas of biology, zoology, botany, geology, meteorology, paleontology or astronomy, just to name a few.